I'm Ivan Spector with Call Dice Ryu, and we're going to do the Giyashi Harai, the foot sweep, the, or the advanced foot sweep drill. We're going to do it uh, going forward toward our uke. In this drill, we're going to use the sole of our foot to sweep the person's foot out. The other thing we're going to do is when we actually reap, we'll pull in since it's a pulling motion reaping, and when we fall out of that, we'll push out. So let's see how that looks. We usually do a Soto Gari with the guy stepping forward with his right foot, and we'll catch his right foot with our right leg. But this time we're going to do it with the man steps backward with his left leg. Mason's going to step back with the left leg, and I'm going to step the line over here. If you notice, I'm not going to confront his body. I'm confronting his arm. It's my body against his arm. If I came straight in like a classical Soto, now I have to fight his whole body to get him down, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to turn out this way. I'm not using my whole leg to reap. I'm pointing my foot, I'm just using my knee joint to throw him, I'm not going through in a violent throw. If I'm behind his knee, I'll collapse his knee just by bending mine. I'm going to also rotate him a little bit in this direction so he'll fall on the right side, and I'm going to plant him on the wrong foot for a second. Thank you. Sotogari, when the person will step back with his left leg, we're going to reap the right leg. It's very important on this if we have mirrors. If we have mirrors of each other, we're standing mirror feet. When he steps, you see lots of people reaching like this to do the throw. You're critically off balance and you'll be thrown backwards. When he steps, step, I'm walking to this line. My feet may three lines, if you will. I'm going to come through and reap now, and I'll have balance. Go. Thank you. We're doing Kazuri Case of Gatami tonight. Kazuri Case of Gatami is a modified scarf hold, or modified cross chest hold, and uh, we're going to check it out. Let's see how we get into this correctly. I want to lift up my opponent's sleeve. I want one knee in their armpit. I'm putting the other hand here in the other armpit, I'm sliding the leg through, keeping high, securing the gi, and securing the sleeve. Legs bent at approximately 90 degrees, live toes. The nice thing about this hold down, an advantage over the regular hold down, is if Mason tries to bridge me, rolls into me, and then he tries to bridge me. I have this hand to counterbalance. It's a really nice hold down. Check it out and stay deep in the armpit. You want to be very tight in his armpit to maintain stability. Also very important not to be pulling up since it's easy for the person to sit up or pushing down. We want to apply neutral force and just have our chest collapse with the force of gravity against his chest. Thank you. Bye-bye. I want to show defense against arm bars, mainly Juju Gatami. People come across, try and capture an arm or an arm bar. And what I like to do is I like to key lock my own gi. And then put my other hand across and lock this way and lock the other guy trying to get the soul down. Let's check it out and look at the dynamics of this. Thank you.